Hey everybody, it's another Mac 7 tutorial. This one 33 and a third. Long playing, as I am known to be. Um, there we go. Now we're in Max. Um, yes, the secret color prefix. You know, so many of you um, with our with our machine here. Let's speed this up, so maybe it encourages me to speed up a little bit here. No, I'm going to just turn it off. Okay, so we were working on this machine, and a whole bunch of people who had um, saved various, whoops, had saved various themes. Here we go, moody. Oh, is that moody or what? Old-fashioned, tree hugger, all very nice themes. But, you know, this gradient panel thing that we're doing here, interesting as it is, um, a lot of people tried to change it and discovered that they could only make it one solid flat color. It's not your fault. There's a secret that I spent quite a bit of time trying to uncover and I am going to hand it off to you for nothing just because so many people asked. So let's go on and open this themes thing here. And these are our color themes that we had made before. And then we had a little thing down here that sort of showed our themes. Um, so, so we could sort of preview them if this was in fact locked. So there they are. And we see that changing. Um, I'll make this a little bigger so you can all see what I'm doing when I'm doing it. So um, and besides teaching you a little bit about the secret um, prefix, I always like to teach something else too. So here we go. Um, let's unlock our patcher, um, steal one of these, option click on it, and just drag it down here, and then option click on that, and drag that over here. And then uh, very quickly we'll take these, um, take them out of the presentation and put them back. Why does I, why I did that just so when we put this in presentation, these don't go back to right where this one is. Um, it was just a little, uh, uh, preemptive troubleshooting there. Okay. So since these are panels over here that we're going to deal with, let's put a panel into this patcher. So we type the letter N, we type panel, and there it is. Um, we move it over here and realize very quickly that it's going to cover our thingamajig up. Well, we can make it as big as we want to here, but as long as it's selected, we go up here to arrange and send it to the back. And there we go. So now we'll know what our theme looks like when we try it out here. And also let's go over here and click in the um, include in presentation. Hello, where are you? There it is. So now this is included in the presentation. These are included in the presentation. And um, let's also um, steal one of these and we'll label it panel gradients. Panel guardians. Oh my goodness. Gradients. There we go. Okay. So we're almost started here. So the um, the other thing that I'm going to teach you to do here is to send these out over sort of one send and receive. So I'm just going to get rid of this one. And we're going to use this one. And where are we going to send it to? Let's send this to something called a panel. Oops, there I go again, misspelling. Panel, John. Um, hopefully I don't have one already. And um, we'll get these out of the way for the moment. The secret that we're going to get to so early in this discussion is if you want to change the color of a panel, you can do the background color thing or the background fill color thing, 
but you can also use this secret formula of typing in grad one. That's for gradient one. Let's just make sure it works. Um, connecting this over there. There it is. Lock the patcher, try it out. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Look at that, look at that orange. Orange, orange, orange. Um, nice. So that, um, so now for the other one, anybody want to guess what it is? Anyone? Anyone out there? The Brady Act? I'm just kidding. That's a Ferris Bueller reference there. Um, uh, grads 2. Grads. Grads. Grad 2. So we take the grad 2 and tow it on over there to the panel. And now let's see what we got here. All right. There's our, oops, sorry. There's our beautiful greens. And now we got, oh my goodness, look at that. This is exciting stuff, people. It's just horrible there. And something more like uh, what we've got on the other page there. See, we can still do it. We can still have what we had on the other page. We're not losing anything. Don't worry. So let's unlock it again and connect these to, do I have my segmented patch cords on? Oh, I do, thank goodness. Someone always inevitably asks me about the segmented patch cords. If you want segmented patch cords, all you have to do is go up to the top where it says options and click on that. And when you scroll down, you'll see that one of the options is for segmented patch cords. And you click on it and then you have segmented patch cords. Okay, so now, um, so now we're going to send this stuff out to panel John, but we want to keep them separate. So this is the other thing that I'm teaching you today. I'm going to just prepend this message. This is being prepended grad one. We're going to go around that message. We're not going to use that. That's just for our little thing there. I'm going to prepend this one A and send it out. And you'll see why in a minute. And I'm going to prepend this one. Go ahead. Guesses, guesses, anyone? Ferris Bueller, anybody? B. Okay. So prepending this one B. Okay. And both of these colors are going to be sent out through the same one. This one. The color is going to send out with an A on the front. This one, the color will be sent out with a B on the front. We'll get to that in a minute. Before we close this, let's um, go ahead and, and uh, check our themes out here. So I'm going to lock the patcher and say, what is theme one? There it is. Um, let's make something that looks nice with that. Uh, something kind of... Oh, I'm moving the wrong thing. Wait, go back. Click, click, sorry. I don't know why I'm grabbing that one. I wanted to come down here and grab this one. So something that kind of goes along with that theme might be... Well, we did say it was moody, didn't we? So that sounds a little more like... Uh... Uh... No, that's too moody. Too... I, I shouldn't spend so much time on these, but I, I can't help myself sometimes. There we go. Let's call that Moody. So now we go back up here and shift click on that one. And then we go to theme two. Oh, it's pink. Let's make it a very um, sensitive pink here. Sensitive, sensitive. Very nice. Oh, not sensitive at all, but we like it. Okay, good. Shift click. And what was this one? Oh yeah, tree hugger. So let's go ahead and uh, get some green in there for tree hugging. We want to tree hug correctly. Ooh, that is not correct tree hugging, but that looks great. So let's, let's give that a hug, shift click. So now we have our three themes working very nicely there. So we can just put them away and control this from afar. 
Okay. So, oh, one last thing. Um, let's put this in presentation mode and make sure these all go to the right. Oh, I, wait. Yeah. And make sure these all go to the right place. So here we go. I'm going to uh, lock it and put it in presentation mode. And as you can see, everything's out of place. So we'll unlock it in presentation mode. Put our theme panel behind there. Put, um, we'll put this one on the top since this gradient's up on top. And we'll put this one on the bottom. And we'll just kind of bring this thing over here. Stretch it out. There we go. So now I'm going to lock it. That's what it'll look like when this window pops open, except it might be smaller. And then we can just click between our, our, our themes. Great. Okay, let's put it away. Wait, I forgot to do something. I'm sorry. I, I'm just uh, prone to this today. I couldn't remember what my send was. So my send is panel John. What I often do with these is I copy them. Command C. Okay. And then we lock it, put it back in presentation mode. Save it. No, we don't need to save it. It's part of another patcher. Whatever. Okay. Put it away. So now when we uh, hit this, it'll do those themes. But notice, of course, that our panels are not changing. That's what we're going to do now. So let's make this nice and big. Oh my God. Okay, let's make this nice and big. There we go. And take it out of presentation mode. And now we can see all of our operating stuff. And then we unlock it and click in here and hit uh, paste. And it pasted way over there, but I'm going to drag it way back over here. There it is. So this is our send panel join. We're going to change that to receive with just an R. Type an R and whatever your interesting name is there. Okay. So remember what I said here. We are sending lists of colors and one of them is preceded by an A and one is preceded by a B. So today's new object is, type the letter N, route. And then we're just going to put a space A, space B. Awesome. So our information is going to come in there. And if it has an A on the front of it, it's going to come out this um, outlet. If it has a B, it's going to come out this outlet. And now we're going to do, um, we're going to route this to this panel here. We can't route it to this panel here yet because this panel, as you may remember, is a B patcher and we have to treat it differently because we're not actually sending it to this. We're sending it to a B patcher. So we'll get to that in a minute, but first let's get it hooked up to this one and then we'll get onto that more difficult nonsense in a second. So, um, what do I need? I need a prepend object again. Prepend, anyone, anyone, grad one. So if it comes out A, it's going to be grad one. And then I'm just going to copy this and make this one grad two. Anyone, anyone, grad two. Okay, I'll stop that. All right. And off they go. Oh, forgot. Ever, any, does anybody remember how to get rid of this? I won't say it. I won't say it. Okay. Um, on a Mac, you hold down Command and click. It's probably Control on a PC, but I can't say for sure. Um, I forgot that this panel is locked. So we have to go up to View and unlock the background, and then we can click on it. And if you hold down Shift, so these are just little time-saving things, I'm holding down shift now and connect this to that. And I get another one for that, but I let go of shift before I do it. So now I've let go of shift and I click to that. So now they're both connected. 
Should we lock it and check that this is working? Of course we should. But um Kaboom! Oh my god, it's beautiful, beautiful. I'm loving it. Tree hugger. Okay. Everything working. Okay? Except this object. So let's unlock our patcher here again and copy this whole mess. Receive panel John Route 8B, prepend grad one, prepend grad two. Command copy. Okay. And for those of you who don't know, if you want to change a B patcher, you can control click inside it like so, and you get this little, um, what do they call it? Contextual menu, go down to object, open original keyboard Johnny. Okay. There it is opened and very, very small. So let's make this a little bigger here and take it out of uh, presentation mode and um, unlock it. So since this is a uh, keyboard Johnny and we're in here, it's unlocked, we can just um, paste our receive in here. I'm sorry, it's small. Zooming might not be an option here because I don't have any sidebars. Oh yeah, that's a pain in the neck. So uh, we can do this, we can do this. So here's, here's what we do. We connect this the same way we did with the other one um, to the carefully to the, whatchamacallit, what the heck is it called? The panel. But now we're gonna do something and that is the reason that I did this whole illustration for you. As you may recall, the gradients were upside down on both of these. So now when we want them to change, we want one to change with A on top of B and the other to change with B on top of A. So I'm gonna come back here and switch these patch chords. I could also, oops, that was not the right way to do it. I could also just type in here B and then A. Um, that would be another way to do it, but I like the, straightforward me mechanical process here. So there we go. Now they're switched around backwards. I'm gonna save this as it is and uh, close it. And now we go back here and lock down our patcher and see if our tree hugger uh, or our moods work. Oh man. Is that electrifying, people? Is that just the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen? So you see the gradient here has light on the top. This gradient's light on the bottom, green in the middle. Holy heck. Now, if I wasn't such a lazy student, I'd go change the colors of these too. Wouldn't you? I bet you would. Well, uh, now I'm going to put it right back in presentation mode, make it little again, turn on my rhythm, and play somewhere over the rainbow. Oops. All right, that's enough of that. Well, thank you so much for watching and make it fancy and make it cool. I'll talk to you next time.